Well, hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to talk about simulators now don't worry this is not a simulator review there's far too many of them on youtube with there is at the moment including one of mine which i'll put a little card up here just so you can uh, have a look at no what i'm, what I'm going to talk about is uh, i've always found simulators to be okay i mean i don't have the best computer so i can't run the top of the range ones but i've always struggled to correlate what 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 I experience on a simulator to with what I fly. But in this video I'm going to show you how, how to make the two a little bit more compatible to make it a, a little bit more like out, being outside flying your drone. So stick with me and I'll show you how. Well in this video we're going to be using the Orca FPV Skydive Simulator now it's not the best one you can get but it is free and it does run on my ancient laptop so that's what we're going to use you also need a controller a pair of goggles now the goggles are going to need to have uh, an HDMI port on them because what, what we're going to do is we're actually going to plug our goggles into the laptop so that the image you get is actually in your goggles like it would be when you're flying so Let's get all this wired up and give it a try. Right, so now that we've fired up, we'll uh, plug our controller in first. I can just do this over USB. Now it's always a good idea when you plug your controller in to uh, give it a calibration. So we'll quickly calibrate the joystick before we do anything else. Let's recognise that me. Uh, controllers plugged in so we'll uh, just quickly can calibrate it and it centralize my sticks full throttle you're all right pitch forward roll right and then just move the sticks all the way around and then centralize reset Buster. button arm button light button The controller's talking to me, I'll better just turn that down. Just quickly make sure that the... Yep, all the sticks are doing what they should do. That's good. We'll go back to the menu. Right, now we'll plug our goggles in. And what you're going to want to do on the bottom is turn your module off. Because you're not going to be using it anywhere. I'll turn that off, be a little switch, and then plug your HDMI plug into the bottom. Take my glasses off so I can put these on. And then you're going to want to switch your uh, goggles to the HDMI input. There you go, I've got a clear view of the screen inside now. Looks okay, yep. Yeah. Alright. Put my glasses back on so I can just see my laptop. What we'll do now, we'll uh, pick a track. We'll go flying. Then we'll go around the abandoned factory. I don't mind this one. Oh, you're not going to see how special it is because I'm not brilliant on the simulator. I do find it a lot more difficult than uh, actually out being out flying but you know we'll give it a blast there you go it's loading right there we are we're all loaded up now some people like to listen to the volume on this so i'm not too bothered but uh, there is actually a earphone output on there you can plug your uh, earphones into your goggles and listen to it so you get the prop sound i'm not going to bother for this video but uh, all we can do now, we'll have a little fly about and then see how we go, so I'll be back. Right, there we are, goggles on. Try and find my controller. Armed. Right, let's go. Now it still does feel a little bit... Uh, 
a little bit weird this one and the frame rate's not the best on my computer but I must admit I do find this a little bit easier to fly when I have my goggles on than I do when I uh, when I'm just actually looking at my computer oh uh, there you go <laughs> crash one well, that's a bonus you simulate as it doesn't actually cost you a penny but it does feel a lot better Ooh, I don't think I've got my rates set properly on here but you know Again, this uh, this game, not the best physics you can hope for. It is a little bit floaty, but for free, you know, what more can you ask for? Now, I think this is... Uh, this is supposed to be paired with this new Orca cheap remote control that's coming out. That's, uh, I think it's going to be just have ghost on it rather than anything else. But, Oh dear, once I start recording now uh, I suddenly can't fly anymore. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, split S there. Let's try and get down this chimney. Oh, nearly. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad simulator this. I know I said it wasn't a review, but I might as well give my impressions while I'm playing it. It's it's okay. It's. Uh, I must admit, my favourite one is the uh, Tiny Book Go. I love that. Little, I love that simulator. I think it's uh, the physics on it are excellent for uh, for a tiny whoop. But yeah, this is uh, pretty decent. And like I said at the beginning of this video, the whole point of this was to make it feel a little bit more realistic. Which I think when I, when you have your goggles on, it does actually make it feel a little bit more like you're actually out flying. You know, aside from having a fan blowing in your face and someone flicking water at you just to get a little bit of a little bit more realism, but you get what I mean. So I'll just have five minutes uh, kicking this about and then little power up there around there. There you go. Like I said, I'm not going to do a not going to do a review of the actual uh, simulator itself, but at least that gives you a basic idea. You know, if you don't mind having a couple of cables hanging from your uh, remote and your goggles, I think it's a, a bit more of a realistic experience than it would be just sat staring at a computer screen. Anyway, that's this video over. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please think about giving us a thumbs up and subscribing. We'll see you in the next one.